YouTube, what's going on guys? Thank you guys for checking out another one of my videos. Today we're gonna to be reacting to a tutorial and I was just kind of going through my timeline and I did find a tutorial that did catch my interest. Really good thumbnail, very dope haircut from what it looks like in the photo. And typically, I don't really click on thumbnails that have the after, but this one did catch my attention and it's a pretty new video. The person that we are reacting to is Noel Blends TV. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a pretty damn good uh, thumbnail. The fourth king got a nice one here too. Oh, look at my boy uh, George, Headlines Barber. You guys seen me react to him recently. He got another one here. He been dropping some heat two in the last six days. Good job, bro. But let's go check out Noel Blends TV. Let's see what kind of heat he working with. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I do is I start by wetting my client's hair. That way I can do the horseshoe part. Whenever they have a lot of bulk on top, I always end up doing the horseshoe part, especially if they want a, a messy top. Okay, doing some black graduation. He's definitely taking some time and invested in himself. I hear what we're gonna do. We're just gonna point cut the top. That way we can uh, give it some texture on top. We're only doing about like half, half an inch on the texture. We're not really taking off too much. When I finish that, I always come back and I blow dry my client's hair, but I put that Elegance Hair Serum. It can be any type of serum. Just make sure you rub it nice and good on top. That way when you blow dry it, it, um, it protects it from the heat, from damaging the hair. What that powder does, it just gives it some volume. That way you can texture, or give it, it gives it some more texture and it leaves it, I like the way it leaves it. A lot of people like it too. And I'm gonna have to send you some 245 powder. What's up? The top looks good, man. And then the number two guard is perfect for this in any situation. So what I do when, to start this fade after all that, um, I come in with my trimmers. They still masking up over there. I come back with my my shavers. You can use any type of shavers, of course. These are the gammas. These are pretty dope. Honestly, out of all the shavers I've used, these are probably the best I've liked. Or they, they work really good for me. So right here, our first guideline, we're going to do the number one guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to make about an inch guideline mm. all the way. He's skipping the blade open. On this video, I didn't really fast forward it for you guys on this fading part because I want you guys to see exactly the way I do it. Next thing you do is you grab your <laughs> half guard, lever fully He still got the plastic on the guard. Same thing you did with your number one guard. No. Don't be afraid, just copy the same thing and um, I promise you this is just gonna, basically you're just softening everything down. This this right here is getting everything ready so when you come back with your no guard lever fully closed to take out that bottom line, it'll be literally... I'll be leaving the, the plastic on mine too. Alright, so clipper closed. We come back with our no guard lever fully closed and you're just gonna take out that bottom line. Now we're just gonna work on it and I'm not gonna fast forward it for y'all, I'm just gonna let you guys see exactly how I do it. That way you guys can can break it, break it down as much as you guys need to. I just keep it closed and I open it about a quarter, but you can open it as much as you need to, as you think you need to. You got the towels labeled in the back. What I would say though, bro, this won't completely take out the bottom line. Like there might be some stubbles left, but just go ahead and- What I would say though is I would try to get more depth of field a little bit, a little bit more. It looks like your, your camera is like on autofocus. So it's like kind of focusing on, on whatever it is that's focusing on. That's kind of why I like using my iPhone, man. I don't have to worry about that. You can tell it's going to be a clean cut though. So that bottom line. My baby list zero gap trimmers and we're going to take out those stubbles now. The stubbles that you left with the clipper that the clipper didn't get, this is what's going to take them out. Just make sure you use your corners and flick out. They, sh they should come right off. Once we finish that, you're going to come back with your one and a half guard lever fully closed. And we're going to make about an inch guideline on top of everything that we just faded out already. So just make it nice, even, and consistent. And this is already, we're already going to start blending into the bulk, basically. Nice. I've always tried to cut like this, like since I started cutting, like I've always thought the, the tight blends looked a lot nicer than like a stretched out blend. But in some cases, you can do a stretched out blend. So it's always nice to know both. I agree with that. 
right here we're gonna start fading down with for the sure left, uh, our number one guard lever fully open it we're gonna do uh we're gonna do the same thing we did with our one and a half guard Literally i mean the same thing. in some cases though a blend like this would look really compressed on certain texture of hair like texture that's really thick could look really compressed almost like a bowl cut right so you got to kind of know when to stretch it out and when not to and typically what i've learned from experience is if your style is compressed is more of a compressed blend do it but you're going to run into clients that it's going to take you longer to give a nice gradient fade because you're going to stick with your system all the time and it's going to be someone that the system just doesn't work well with and so you're going to have to stretch them out it's going to take you longer that first haircut but once they're locked in you know the next time all right when he comes in into the shop i'm going to have to stretch it out a little bit more because the way that i like the finish look to to be on him i can use the same system but i can't use the same compressed sections right i gotta stretch them out a little bit more basically fading down so right here we're closing it halfway now just make sure you glide it throughout the hair i probably would have hopped down to like a half guard to be honest by this point i probably would have went to the half guard like halfway open and i feel like it would have been close to being blended instead of closing the, the one a little bit you know let me know what you guys think about that in the comments and then you're gonna fully close it and you're gonna attack that middle ghost line i know right here you guys can pretty much see it it's not really like a harsh guard guideline it's it's a it's a ghost line he's gonna have to go to the half guard anyways yeah so i think that you can skip this to be honest just to be that's how i would do it i would just i would have skipped it went straight to this half guard we're gonna come back with our half and this is gonna do fully close make sure you use your corners on this one if this works for him it really didn't stay that much time because i would have went halfway open with the half guard and then closed it but he went one guard closed and then used the half guard closed so did it really say that much time? Maybe, maybe not. The little dark spots in the middle. Basically, this is this is what this is what's gonna bring air, all the whole blend together. So you can see, I'm just using my corners and I'm getting. It's coming together. It'll come out pretty easy as you keep just attacking those dark spots, literally. But now we're gonna t put on my number two guard lever fully open, and then I close it about a quarter, and we're just gonna go straight up. We're not really making a guideline with this. This is just gonna allow us to blend into the bulk with our shears probably gonna go underneath that with the one and a half guard open or like halfway open yeah there you go right after that we're gonna do the same thing about halfway yeah. then you're just gonna go and do do right underneath that yeah. this is what's gonna bring the bottom blend to to the bulk and connect it together yeah and sometimes if you if you have to use your number one guard or to detail the blend go ahead and smack on your number one guard for him you're gonna have to because yeah. it's just, to, just because of the way I do it doesn't mean that you guys have to do it exactly the same way. So now we're going to come back with our shears now, our thinning shears, then our comb. And we're just going to connect everything. Just go straight up with it. The comb is what you're watching. The comb is what you're watching, guys. Not really the scissors or the shears. Everything I'm using in this video is down below. So go ahead and check those out. Yeah, if you guys want to watch his original video, link will be in the description below for Noel. Go support, go show him love. I, mean, I gotta go see how many uh, subscribers he got. See, I'm just it's basically the way I do my blends. Um, clean, you guys the, very clean. Now we just do our lineups when when doing when doing the lineup. Just make sure it's it says. Um, make sure you don't push back and make sure you you stretch the skin when using the razor. You don't want to irritate your client. And also, the, okay. I use the, the white pencil. I think this just adds an extra pop for your like. If you want to like do social media and all that. This right here is what's gonna like put you out there. Like, I don't like the white on, on his skin. I would have used like the, the tan. I wouldn't have used the, the white. But if you like that extra, like he said, for social media, it's gonna make it pop. So if you're looking for that extra pop, then the white. But I like it to look a little bit more natural with a little bit of pop, you know, preference. It's his social media. It's really rare if I do a design. But I mean, when I do do them, I like to, like, I, I can only do like zigzag work. like. I can't do all that circle stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I'm, I didn't like learn how to do designs. It looks good. Like I wish I would have learned, but that looking dope already. Um, it looks real dope. It was it was a struggle for me, so that's that's what my goal is for to help you guys break down the hair. Now that I broke it down, I figured everything out. I just want to show you guys the way I do it because now it's it's like really easy for me. So and I know the struggle of like wanting to learn so bad. So. I hope I can help you guys in any way possible. That's dope, man. Sheesh. Basically, the final product, the final result. Hey. Like if you guys liked it, 
that's buttery bro next week i am dropping weekly so comment down below make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell that's a buttery cut that's like really really clean um i don't know how long he's been cutting but you can tell what however long it's been he has been studying his craft he's been he's been he knows how to learn pretty much because just the way that he broke down the cut and he's broken down his journey with with the cut he talks about how he just kept learning and he got to a point where now it's easy for him because he put in that work to understand why the things why he does what he does the dude was able to break down exactly the lever opens and you can tell that he knows his stuff because he knew where to open his lever before he even started cutting there wasn't a lot of trial and error for him you know he probably detailed some more after the lineup and everything i'm assuming he did because i know most most barbers do but yeah man noel you know your stuff bro you're a beast man like i said the white was a to me is a little too much but you know i'm not doing this to critique anybody i'm just i'm just doing this to offer another opinion so go follow noel blends go follow noel blends all right so before we do that let's check out um the comment section he's got 2.2 thousand subscribers let's see if we can get him another 500 or something fire cut never misses blur yeah thank you bro clean af that she blurry let's check out his channel all right, so he's got, let me see, he got three videos. So guys, you always gotta, somebody's homepage does not show all their videos. You always gotta click videos to see everything. I tape it looking kind of crazy, looking looking kind of fire. All right, man, hit the subscribe button. It's, an, it's the right thing to do. And make sure that I hit the like button on that video because it's common courtesy. With that being said, guys, that was my video for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I got some nuggets from that video. And with that being said, man, we drop daily content in this channel. We don't drop daily content in this channel. We drop daily content, though. Between this channel and Life of Basio, my newest channel that shows vlogs behind the scenes. If you rock with me, obviously I'm not. I don't just cut hair. I'm a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a family man. And I like to talk about... And I love personal development. I love self-help. I love growing and learning things. And so that's the channel. If you rock with me and what I'm about, that's the channel that you want to go subscribe to. Link is always in the description for Life of Basio. We drop daily content between those two channels. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.